We are hearing of more and more home break-ins where thieves target the furnace and the water heater. Lately, it feels like the victims are the less fortunate. Jason Coltharp live in East Point tonight where the bad guys have hit three Habitat for Humanity homes, Jason. And this is one of those three homes, Devin. Habitat homes, by the way, built or in this case rehab like this one is for families, less fortunate families to buy at a reasonable price. But the family moving in here now can't because of what has happened. Habitat thinks this went down sometime between four o'clock Sunday and early this morning. Three homes we're talking about. This one on Collinson, another one around the corner on Tuscany and one more. And the way they got in, not very sophisticated. They kicked in the front door and went straight to the basement. Took the the uh, heating unit and, and the electronics for this. Thieves surgically removing the furnace and the water heater for the second time at this home on Collinson, a habitat home that was rescued from foreclosure and rehabbed for a family of a veteran about to move in. We've been fortunate to help 143 families since we got started in 1993. And in that time, Dave Trizel has only seen a couple break-ins. This time, though, it seems Habitat was targeted. The fact that th there were three scattered in East Point uh, that they caught on the same night is suspicious. That hurts because it's being prepared for a family, you know, that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. Neighbors are upset, too, because it's giving the area a bad name. I've watched, you know, over the months when the teams would come out on weekends and how hard they work down there. It's a beautiful home, like I say, and I just hate to see it destroyed that way. What does that say about whoever did this? That they're heartless. Mm-hmm. Greedy. Habitat has insurance, but it's a $5,000 deductible, the same price it paid the last time, and by no means easy for this charity. We run a very thin organization. We don't have a lot of people. We don't have a lot of extra expenses because we want to uh, put as much money as possible into the homes to get more families moved in, give them that uh, foundation for the future. And Habitat may have to spend even more money now to make sure this stops happening. Money on security systems. And like we say, Habitat relies on donations. So that's also a tough pill to swallow. If you'd like to help out in regard to those donations, we've made it easy. If you click on this story at clickondetroit.com. We're in East Point tonight. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.